Welcome to the online video lecture of steel design. In this video lecture, we will learn about analysis and design of steel beam section. First of all, we will discuss about LRFD criteria for design of beams. LRFD is load and resistance factor design and this approach for bending moment says that MU should be less than or equal to 5 B M N where this MU is your design moment, MN is nominal strength of the section and 5B is resistance factor for beams which is taken as 0 0.9. If the beam is allowed to reach the fully plastic state, then MN will be equal to MP which is plastic moment if the whole section is yielding. This we have done in the previous video lecture. As the case with columns, the compression flange could buckle, but the restraining tension flange will cause the compression flange to buckle in lateral torsional buckling. This can be reduced or eliminated by laterally supporting the compression flange. So, this is a possibility that we can protect it from lateral buckling. Similar case will be observed in the case of beam. It is also possible that elements of the compression flange will buckle prior to overall yielding of the section and this is called flange local buckling as you can see in this case here this is or the compression part of the web could buckle locally under web local buckling some portion of this web may be buckling. The controlling factor for FLB and WLB are the width to thickness ratios of the compression members and these members are flange and the web we will see in the next slide. We should remember that the flanges of I, W and S shapes are unstiffened elements while the webs are stiffened elements. AIC has classified these steel beam sections into three categories. So, these are three categories compact, non compact or cylinder which is depending on their width to thickness ratios which are for flange BF upon 2 TF and for web it is H upon TW. So, this lambda is known as width to thickness ratio. Now, compact section is that which will give you the plastic moment capacity of the section and non-compact sections are not capable of achieving full plastic moment capacity. Lambda P is upper limit for compact shapes, lambda R is upper limit for non-compact shapes which we can see here in this table the values of lambda P and lambda R for the values of flange and web lambda. So, if lambda is less than or equal to lambda p, we will say that the section is compact. If lambda is between lambda p and lambda r, the shape is non-compact and if lambda is greater than lambda r, the shape is slender. This is also known as strength limit state or local buckling criteria for the section. You can see here in this graph when lambda is less than lambda p we are getting the value of nominal moment equal to mp plastic moment which gives you full capacity of the section fy into zx as you have seen in the previous uh, video lecture also and when lambda p is between lambda is between lambda p and lambda r we get inelastic buckling and if lambda is more than lambda r there will be elastic buckling this is known as slender section. Now, flexural strength of compact beam section is determined based on these two criteria. A compact shape will be defined based on these two factors as we have seen previously BF upon 2 TF less than or equal to 65 upon square root FY 
this is for flange and another is for where h upon t w less than or equal to 6 for t upon square root f y. Most rolled shapes satisfy the compact criteria which are available in AIC steel table and if the unbraced length is very short or 0, then we can use this equation m n equal to m p which is equal to f y into z. Another important thing is uh, lateral bracing length. So, the moment strength of compact shape is a function of unbraced length which is defined as the distance between points of lateral support. Here in this figure you can see this is lateral support here. What is the meaning of lateral support? If this is the beam cross section and if we can protect this uh, flange from moving sideways then you can say that it is laterally supported as in this case there is some lateral support. So, we have these values in this case there is a lateral support. So, from this lateral support to the support here this will be L B. So, if L B is less than or equal to L P full plastic moment will be observed if L B is between L P and L R, there will be inelastic lateral torsional buckling and if L R is less than L B, there will be elastic lateral torsional buckling as you can see in this chart also. In this zone, no instability, so it is a stable section up to this value if L B is L P and after that you see as the value of L B is increasing it is moving in that direction and the load carrying capacity will be less in this case. The value of L p is calculated by this formula where P is modulus of elasticity and F y is yield stress. The values of R y and R t s you can see from ISC steel manual for each section whatever you are using. Now, we look at one example to find the capacity of a steel beam section. So, this is example number 1, where we have to check for the adequacy of W16 by 31 section, which is made of A36 steel to support a slab with a service dead load of 450 pounds per foot and a service life load of 550 pounds per foot. So, this is our beam section as it is mentioned here it is supporting a slab. So, this is definitely continuously supported for lateral support. Now, we will first calculate the load acting on this beam. So, dead load 450 plus 31, 450 is the applied load and 31 pound per foot is the self weight of the section. So, we include these two values here in the dead load it comes out to be 480 pound per foot including the self weight. Now, we can calculate the design load 1.2 WD plus 1.6 WL. WL is given as 550, so 1.2 into 0 0.481 plus 1.6 into 0 0.55 the value of live load. So, these are the factors for dead load 1.2 factor for live load is 1.6 according to LRFT which we have seen in other previous videos also. Now, we can calculate MU the moment which will be WL square by 8 because this is uniformly distributed load and maximum bending moment will be at the center and this gives you the value of 164 kip. Now, we can see from here the values if you see this table is giving you the values for its weight. Self weight is given as 31 for this section. So, from here also you can get the value otherwise the designation is in such a way that it tells you the weight. Now, we go to check for the compactness of the section. So, this criteria is to be satisfied B f upon 2 T f and H upon T w. So, these values we will check from the steel table 
and we will compare it with these values. Now, Bf upon 2Tf and H upon Tw, you will see from here. This is your section and we see these values, compact section criteria here. So, this comes out to be 6.28, which is Bf upon 2Tf and H upon Tw 51.6. So these values we put here and then we compare with the value of this 65 upon square root f5 which is 10.8 that means it is less than this number. Similarly here 640 upon square root f5 is 106 and this is also less. So both flank and the web are compact. So the section is compact. So we can use this equation that mn will be equal to mp, so whole section will be capable of fielding, so giving you maximum elastic moment capacity, it is equal to fy into z, fy is 36 because we are using a36 steel grade and 54 is the plastic section modulus which you can see from the table, this is your section. And when we come here, this is Z. So we will take the value of Zh 54. When we multiply these numbers, we are getting 1944 inches, 162 pixels. Now we compare this value, phi mn will be equal to 0 0.9 into 162, which comes out to be 146 only. But the moment is 164 which is the design moment, you can see here 164 and the capacity of this section is only 146, therefore it is not able to support that load, so it is not governing, therefore the section is not adequate for the given load. Now we will try to design one section. This is example for compact beam section design, we will be selecting the section. It says that select the lightest W or M shape to resist a uniformly distributed dead load of 0 0.2 kip per foot and live load of 0 0.8 kip per foot. The beam is simply supported with a span of 20 feet and compression flange is fully braced. Right. So this value is given, we will go for full plastic moment capacity we will design a compact section. This is the case, dead load and live load is given, but we do not know the self weight of the beam because that section has to be selected. So we will calculate the value of bending moment in terms of the load which is applied on the beam. We calculate the load, so 1.2 times dead load plus 1.6 times the live load, substitute the values from here and we get 1.52 kip per foot. Now bending moment in this case because it is uniformly distributed load WL square by 8. So we calculate bending moment as 76 kip foot but this does not include beam weight because we do not know what is the beam section. Now the next step is that because we are designing a compact section so phi mn will be phi mp so it will be phi b which is 0 0.9 fy into zx. This should be greater than mu. So we will try to find out the value of this zx which we should select. So zx required will be mu divided by phi b fy from here, this relationship. So mu is 76 from previous slide, we multiply it by 12 to convert into inch and this value gives you zx required as 28.1 inch cube. Now we have to select the sections from our steel sections table such that the section should have value of zx more than this number, not less than this. So this is minimum requirement and we are also going to design the lightest section that will be economical section. Now we look in the, into this uh, steel section table for zx equal to 28.1 or more.
come here and you find these values here in this column and see these are some of the values here and we select the values from these positions. So, here we find one W12 by 22 and also there is this value then 31.3. So, we will look for those which are closer to this required value and then we can decide which are those sections if we see here. So, based on that steel table we select these three sections. The required value was 28.1 cubic inch and we have selected these three sections 29.3 31.3 and 30.4 inch cube with the values of plastic section modeler. Out of these three, if you look at this, this W12 by 22, which has the self weight of 22 pound per foot will be the lightest. And of course, it will be cheapest. So, we will start with this. This is best choice with the criteria design which is given in this question. So, we select W12 by 22 because it has least value of self weight that is 29.3 we start with this and we check for the compactness of this section in the similar way as for the previous one. We get the values of BF upon 2 TF from the table and H upon TW from the table for this section and you will see these values are coming from this column. So, from this column we can calculate these values, determine these values from this table. Once we get these values, we will put into this condition whether it is satisfying this criteria for compactness or not and we find that these values are satisfying the criteria of compactness for the section. So, you can say that this is compact section. Now, once the section is compact, we will go to find the bending moment due to the applied load and the self weight of the beam. Now, our section is decided and this section has a self weight of 22 pound per foot. So, we will add that 22 pound per foot in that load which is given. So, we substitute here in this total load. Now, this is calculated based on the load which is applied, the dead load which is applied plus self weight. Then 1.6 times live load and this moment and this uh, W comes out to be 1.55 tip per foot. Now, MU is WL square by 8 same formula and we get this as 77.5. This is new value for bending moment depending upon this self weight which is included now along with the dead load. So, we check for the section whether it is adequate for supporting this moment or not. So, we find the value of I mn for the section which is W12 by 22. So, here we have 0 0.9 into Z into Fy. Z is 29.3. This is the value of Z axis which is for this section which we are providing multiplied by Fy which is 36 and that gives a value of 949.32 inch tip. Now, when we divide it by 12 it will become tip foot. So, the value 949.32 divided by 12 is 79.1 tip foot which is greater than mu. mu was 77.5 and phi mn is 79.1. Okay, so, that means our design is satisfactory. It is able to take the moment and also the beam section is compact. With this, we come to the end of this video lecture.